Yo, 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 it's D Arthur in the building. I'm so honored and blessed to be able to come and talk to you guys for a little bit about the cost of being the chosen one, especially when you're on seed retention. There is a cost of you being the chosen one. You, the number one thing is isolation. You might finally just feel isolated at times. This is why you have to, you have to pray because at times it does seem kind of hard. Life is a little bit hard, especially if you're surrounded by people who are just not on the same vibra vibrational energy as you. If you're not surrounded by people with similar mindsets that you, you might very as well feel very isolated because you have all of these goals, desires, and basically things that you really want to accomplish in life. And you're surrounded by people who, who want to take the easy way out, who, who just want to lay around, who want to chill, who just want to be like an everyday person. And you actually might feel it every time you're around them. You might feel as if you're every time you talk about the things that you want, the, the life that you want to live, it might sound like you're bragging. And this is really isn't the case. It just it just means that you're not on similar vibrational frequencies, similar vibrational energies as the as the person you're you're with you're not you don't share similar mindsets you don't have the same hopes for the future you're operating on the vibration of joy positivity happiness and serving one another and they're operating on the shame guilt victim mentality type of vibration and these two cannot correlate there's no way that these two energies type can correlate so you have to, you have to be you have to surround yourself with people who are one action takers, people who have high plans for the future, people who empower you, and people who are better than you. This is the only way to really grow in your life. There is no growth without there is only there is only growth when there is not when there you're out of your comfort zone. Growth and comfort cannot correlate. So you will that is one cost of being the chosen one. You will feel isolated at times. You will feel isolated many times, but th just realize that this is normal. This is f this is normal for the people who usually want more from life. Number two, you might not fit in. Another another example, you just might not fit in. Everybody is doing one thing, and you're thinking about some other things. You you just you just don't fit in. Every single thing that you want, every single thing that you want, it doesn't seem like uh, the next man wants it. It just seems like you're, you might, like I said, you might, it might feel like you're bragging. They might say, why are you, why are you always trying to become different? Why are you always trying to do something different? Why aren't you just like everybody else? Why aren't you conforming? And the thing is, you can conform if you want to, but there's something in you. There is something deep down in you that is saying, no, you, you must, you must get more. You must have more. You must become somebody. You must become more and you will never settle for the things that they give you. Everyone might think they might give someone an offer, but maybe you're you're prideful. Maybe you just think that you, you deserve something a little bit better. This is the bottom line. This might come from ego. This might just come from something deep inside you that that knows that you were great, destined for something just a little bit more, and you will never settle until you get one. This is another cost of being the chosen one. Um, Another no, number three is thinking you're weird. It's thinking that you're just the weird one. They think that when when actually it could be that they're the weird ones for conforming, and you might be the 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 odd man out. You kind of have at some point in your life you have to pretty much make a decision. You have to make a decision on yourself. You have to make a decision on people. You have to make a decision about your life. Where is it going? Who are you going to listen to? What are you going to pay attention to? What type of people do you want in your life? What type of life do you really want to live? These are all decisions that you have to make. So anything that is in alignment with these type of with these type of visions, you have to let them go eventually because they are not serving you any purpose. You pretty much have to be the the person that really gets that goes somewhere in your life. You have to be the person who is becoming somebody in life and this you might look ostracized in the society you might look as if you you're always onto something you're always you're always you're not normal 
they might say it i mean but the thing is you just have to keep going because at some point everything that you you want and everything that you worked for it will pay off so you say say no mind to naysayers um also people might look at you for answers they might look at you um they might ask you questions they might ask you about how, uh, your take on these things this is what happens when you become a chosen one because you because because of your because of your because you're becoming highly intuitive your intuition is fully galore so it, you might it, lo it might look like you have the answers to to a lot of things you might not have the answers you might not really have the answers to everything but you do definitely have a lot of answers um you just your intuition is very when when you decide to go and see retention your intuition is very very high it's beaming so you literally can you, and your in, emotional intelligence is beaming so you literally know what people are think, thinking people's you might even know people's motives what people are really trying to get from you without anybody saying a single thing this is how high your intuition becomes when you decide to retain you will these are some of the spiritual superpowers that you will start to harness when you go on seed retention you will start knowing people's motives you really might start to know what people think of you um the thing is a lot of people think about the way the way people think of you might be similar to what you think of them this is this is kind of it this, this may not 100 be the truth but this is the truth for a lot of things whatever you may think about other people whether you really like them whether you don't like them they might they might think they might think similarly of you but the thing is i mean this is this is the case for a lot of times but sometimes this this just isn't the case you just have to gauge your your intuition is very high you really can read the people you have high emotional intelligence um you, you pretty much know if you if you're done with a conversation with somebody you pretty much know if they pretty much like you or they don't be, and it and you gauge this by how much you pretty much like them this is this is pretty much it so i mean your intuition is very fully you you will be blessed with high intuition this is the gift from the most high you have to use these powers with great responsibility because having high intuition having high emotional intelligence is a very is a superpower you pretty much know where where business where business deals are going you pretty much know where relationships are going this is the bottom line you have to become a catch you become you start becoming the catch when you go on seed retention before you started realizing do they like me am i good enough now you start realizing do you like them are they good enough this is this is this is the flip this is the switch this is the switch in your brain that starts happening when you start taking care of yourself when you become when you start building your value and you just become someone who is a very valuable person you start realizing who are the people that are good for me and who are the people that are not good for me this is who you're becoming you're becoming very very valuable you're 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 having a high valuable valuable life you're becoming high status you're giving out very honest signals of being high status and the people who 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 you think are good for you will tend to stick around the people who aren't as good for you they will they will disappear this is this is the laws of the world this is how the world works people live in harmony with people who are living in similar vibrations this is why you you're more likely to get along with certain people and you're more likely to reject other people because their vibrational or the vibrational energy their vibrational frequency is not in alignment with your vibrational frequency and people with different vibrations cannot pretty much they can't really live <clears throat> they can't live in harmony you might you, you can become you can come across them but they can't live in harmony they cannot live in harmony um, also another thing is the cost of being the chosen one long nights early mornings you just realize you, there there might be some days where you are kept up at night just because you realize of how how great you you can become you start realizing the capabilities that you have you literally might stay up at night thinking about the future thinking about what you need to do thinking about your next moves every single thing has to be planned before you you initiate it out so the cost of being the chosen one is it's a very high high cost but like i said great great cost comes with great rewards um especially if you go on, when you're on seed retention you, the more, you're just more likely to become the chosen one um 
Also, another thing that you start realizing about people, since you start telling, observing people, you the super, the thing that might happen to you is you might have you might be enlightened on previous scenarios you've had in your life. Maybe there was a situation that you really you didn't really have any information of, and you might you might question as to why people acted a certain way. But when you go on retention, when you've been meditating, when you've been praying, you literally have you literally become enlightened on certain situations. You start realizing you start realizing what the what the story really was. This is this is how this is how enlightened you become you can become. You start realizing you start realizing that that people have to fix things but they let but they keep letting it pass by. They keep letting it pass by. Um they know they have to fix something. They know how to they have to fix something in their life, but they keep letting it just marinate marinate in in isolation they keep letting it marinate they keep letting the problem get worse and over time it just it gets too much of a hill to climb because they just never nipped it in the butt but but as for you you're rewriting a whole nother story you're becoming all you're becoming a whole nother person you literally have to be, act as if someone totally different so you become in vibrational alignment with the reality that you desire you have to act as if you're a totally different person. Maybe you want to be wealthy in the future. You have to act wealthy right now. Your behaviors have to mirror that of a wealthy person. Your decisions have to mirror that of a wealthy person. And then those and what you're doing is giving, you're giving out signals to the to the world that you are becoming a new person and your reality will start to mirror with with visualization the new reality that you with visualization and action you your reality will start mirroring the life that you really want and all of these all of this action starts to become more prevalent when you go on seed retention seed retention will help you start taking having enough courage to really change things for the better for yourself for the better for yourself so i mean being the chosen one like i said it's high highly highly cost but highly rewarded this is this is something that you have to do to finally break the generational curses and re rewrite a new story for your future if that makes sense um also down below i am i am doing I am doing video video consultations. I'm answering a lot of questions about just things that you guys may have in general. So make sure to, if you have questions, make sure to submit a question. I will get back to you in a timely manner and I will over deliver. Also, um, make sure you like the video. If you like the video, if you liked any of my videos, just like them, uh, comment, comment something that you, comment something. And subscribe below because the algorithm needs to be sh showing this to more people. So bye.